Hello everyone, this is Arundhati Baburaj welcoming all of you to my YouTube channel titled Anything Under the Sun. The first video on my channel is dedicated to my dear students, fellow research scholars and professionals working on the academic writing domain. Let's try to understand a very simplified method to insert citations and references into your document using Microsoft Word. By the end of this video, you will learn to insert bibliography section as lengthy as you please and in your chosen format using one single click, something like this. So we have a document in front of us and we start by placing our cursor on that part of the document where you got to add your citation. We go to the references ribbon and then to the citations and bibliography tab. You click on the style or you choose the style of referencing. Different subject domains have its, its own referencing styles. You can click on the drop down menu to select your referencing style with their respective editions. I choose APA here. Next is to click on insert citation within the same tab and you click on add new source to add a new citation. The first thing that you got to choose from the pop-up window that you've got is the type of source. Now different source types have different kinds of referencing formats within a same style. So you have all the kinds of sources listed in this drop down menu. The first source that I'm going to use here is a book. So I choose book. Next is the name of the author. Again, an author's name has its own format of writing when it comes to referencing. So at any point in time, if you're confused or if you are not sure about it, you can very well go to the edit option. You can add the first, middle and last name of your respective author. Click on add. You can add more names and then you click on OK and there you go your author's name is listed or reflected in the right format. The next option is the corporate author so you check this corporate author only when you are citing a material as a whole for example a magazine. So in such instances you can add the name of the chief editor in place of the author's name after checking the corporate author. In our case this is a very normal book so you uncheck this option the next is the title, so you write the name of the book. Next is the year, so you choose that year of the book or that edition of the book which you have used in your document, so this is 2011 for me. Next is the city, so in the city option you add the city of the publication house which is New York here. Next is the name of the publisher. So this is McGraw-Hill for me. Check that you have inserted all the necessary information and you click on OK. And there you go. You have chosen or you have cited your first information or the first source. Let us now try citing a journal article. So for this, first keep your article ready with you. Go back to your document. Place your cursor there and go to insert citation. So we are following the same process here. You click on insert citation. You can see that one of your citations that you have already added to the document is listed. So as you keep adding your list, it appears in this drop down and you can see the entire list of citations that you have added in this particular document. You go to add new source, select from the drop down for your type of source, which is journal article now. Next is the name of the author, so you go back to the document, choose the author name. So this time the author's name is already written in the right format, so I just need to paste it there. Next is the journal name. We also have the journal title to be added, the article title to be added. The year of its publication, so which is 2006. The pages so we know that this is from 64th page to 68th page so this is a document that I have retrieved from ProQuest so it has all these details listed on top of 
the article, the top of the article. And yes, you have filled all the details. Click on OK. And there you have cited your journal article. At any point in time, if you want to edit the information source, you can click on the citation, click on the drop down menu, go to edit source and you can change the respective or the necessary information. Click on OK and that is saved. Next, let's try citing a conference proceeding. So now again, click on the document here. Keep your conference proceeding ready with you. Go back to the document. Go to insert citations. As you can see, now you have two citations listed. Add new source. Select your source as conference proceeding. Let's go back to the document. Now you have two authors here. So you could just copy the name of the author since it is written in the correct format. Next is the title of your proceeding. Let me just copy the first sentence as of now. They have asked for the pages. So it's the fifth and sixth page. So I can write as five and six. You can even write the number of pages if you have that option. The year of publication, which is 2012. The conference publication name. So if you go back. choose the publication title which is economic and social development you can write it down there next is the city so you can choose the city name and the name of the publisher You can even try to add instead of five to six you can even add two which is the number of pages and you can click on OK and you have cited a conference proceeding next we would try citing a website you have to be a little careful when you cite a website here because there is one critical information that you one tricky information that you got to check for so when you add a website name keep the website ready so this is the website that I have chosen my information from you go to the insert citation option add new source select on website the first information that they are asking is the author name so author name let me copy this can try editing add and ok next is the name of the web page so now we have two information that has to be added one is name of the web page two and name of the website so when you add the name of the web page it is nothing but the section of that particular website for example the website name here is NDTV but the web page here is the travel web page so the web page here would be travel and the name of the website would be NDTV so now tomorrow for example if you are writing an article from the business section of maybe times now so the website name would be times now and the name of the web page would be business news so that's how you add the detail so this is what I said is a little tricky so be careful when you add this particular information Next is the year. So if you have the date of publication, you could choose that. So this is May 8th, 2020. And select on the URL. Sorry for the delay. There is a network error. You click on OK, cite a particular website. Lastly, I would also like to cite a film. So I place my cursor here. I go to the insert citation option. 
you can see the list of citations that you have already done. Add new source. Select the type of source as film. Enter the title, which is the name of the film. Next is to add the director's name. And the release of the film, the release year of the film. Click on OK and you have cited a film. So before I conclude, I have to make four important clarifications regarding the type of source. So when you go to the source type, the first is regarding a report. A report is used as a type of source when you use an institute's name instead of an author's name. For example, if you are citing an information that is a report from the Hindu newspaper. In such instances, when you do not want to cite the reporter's name, you could just cite the newspaper's name that is the Hindu in the author's column. So a report is used, I repeat, when you do not want to use an individual's name and when you use an institute's name, a report is used as a type of source. Next is a clarification between a website, a document from a website and an electronic source. As we have discussed in this video, a website is nothing but wherein information is directly retrieved from a website. You add the name of the web page and the website. A document from a website is used when you download a particular document. It could be an article, it could be an image which is downloaded from a website. So when you are able to download that particular document from a website, you use the type of source as document from website. Third is an electronic source. So an electronic source is used as a source type when you are citing a resource which requires an electronic or a computer access. This could be multimedia products, electronic journals, image collections or data collections from websites like Government of India. Anything or any information that is not available in printed format but in an electronic format like maybe CD-ROMs or tapes or ebooks, online library or anything. So these are the four clarifications that I had to make before I conclude. I click on cancel here. And now we are just one click away from listing our bibliography. So instead of manually writing your bibliography, taking hectic time and effort to write it in the alphabetical order, you could just go to the citations and bibliography tab, click on the bibliography drop down menu, select the format that you got to insert. I go for references and I click on this. All the information that you have cited will be listed in the required format here. And this is how the referencing ribbon helps you in citing or adding citations to your document in Microsoft Word. I prefer to use the referencing tools from Microsoft Word for three key reasons. First is that you can use it irrespective of whether you're online or offline. Second is the ease of adding the bibliography section and third, it helps in reduced plagiarism. And here I conclude with the first video on this channel on citing references using Microsoft Word. Hope you all like this and if yes, do click on the like button under this video. I'm also adding a couple of URLs under this video for further reading. Your feedbacks are welcome on the comment section below. You could also post your suggestions on further topics. Do not forget to share this video with your colleagues and students and also requesting your love by subscribing to my channel titled Anything Under The Sun because it's good to know something about everything and everything about something. Thank you so much for watching and take care.